Hey guys, it's Shadow Hate here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, it could be a little bit of a fun little experiment here on Halo 4. So, as you saw in my previous video, I showed you like what happens if you were to get out of your broadsword during the uh, the mission midnight on Halo 4. And basically you would just die instantly. But if you make it so that you could walk around and not die, the ground is pretty solid out here and it's a really huge map. Like too huge to walk around. So for this video I wanted to see if we could actually do the broadsword run in a warthog. And I know I have other vehicles there and I'll maybe I'll tackle those videos uh, those vehicles in another video down the road uh, once I see how to handle. But for this video I wanted to focus just on the warthog. So we're gonna be doing a little warthog run here again in Halo 4, except it's on a broadsword run and on the ground. So the ground is totally solid, but the uh, the collision down here can be a little bit weird, and the geometry is also a little bit weird down here as well. But it is drivable so far. And this actually kind of reminds me of the the cut Halo 2 warthog runs, uh, as well as like the um, like all the conceptual Halo 2 warthog runs that were mentioned, but never actually shown in game because there was one warthog run for halo 2 that was in game but it was cut and you had to like mod it to be able to uh, see it uh, but that being said this warthog run is obviously quite different from halo 2 not just because it's halo 4 but you know because the layout is still completely different but it does remind me a lot of it just uh, I, I don't know it's just visually just cut the way it kind of drives reminds me a little bit of the halo 2 one uh, but this one is a lot more difficult because it was obviously meant for aircraft, uh, specifically the broadsword, really. And there are like certain parts here, like you can see me at right now, where it's a struggle to get the warthog up the ledge. I would normally drive it down the middle, but there's a giant like floating block in the way, and the warthog won't fit underneath it. So that's why we have to kind of carefully drive up this ledge. I can't just floor it either because there's a hole to my left, and if I driving that hole I'll fall like to the bottom of the map and well the warthog will be stuck there and I can't go any forward so I do need to be careful there but now that I'm past that part and it did take me a little bit of practice to do this warthog run mostly without any issues uh, we can keep going and this is just the first section of the broadsword run <laughs> you know this uh, it's a huge map like I said it doesn't feel that huge because you're flying super fast in a broadsword but when you're on foot, and even when you're in a warthog, it is huge. Like, just driving, it's still the first section, and just driving around does, you know, take a little bit. I would say, like, this, this might actually be, like, the biggest Halo map, like, ever. <laughs> ha biggest Halo campaign mission area, ever. Because, like, it, normally you're not supposed to walk it on foot, and there's no other, I don't think there's any other, like, mission in Halo where, even if you did walk it on foot, it says huge as this but uh nonetheless it's a uh, it's a pretty little fun fact about the halo of halo 4's mission now on this part this is the exact same part as the last section but like when i, I told you like it was very difficult and when i say that it was very difficult i mean it because like here i pretty much do get like stuck here for a little bit by accident and my warthog, I I couldn't like wedge it out of place anymore, so I had to like get out and push it, which I'll do momentarily. But I did spend a little bit of time trying to trying to drive it back and forth to try to get it unstuck, but it was uh, it was a pretty fruitless effort. But uh, yeah, so I mean, aside from this these little sections here where you have to kind of squeeze the warthog up a ledge, this this mission it, it's actually not terrible for a warthog run and. I'm sure like with a little bit more modding and like adding some more geometry to it or adding some more scenery to it, the broadsword run could potentially be done in a warthog, I would say. And you'll, you'll see like why I mean potentially in a little bit, but I'd say like with a little bit of fixes and things move around to make it more warthog friendly, it, it, um, it could be like a viable warthog run and it'll be a very long warthog run as well. It would definitely end up being the longest Warthog run ever. Probably too long, in fact. Like, I, I, I hazard to say it, but like, it, it might actually be longer than all three like official Warthog. Well, all right, it, it might be all of the available in-game Warthog runs, including like the Cut Warthog run combined. Like, all think about it in one. This might be longer than that. But 
Yeah, so like I said, it potentially could be with some modifications because after I get through all those parts, once I'm halfway done the first section, I do hit this huge wall here and there's just no way around it. Uh, it's just Warthog can't fly, so I can't get the Warthog over it. But if I were to potentially mod this mission and add maybe some ramps for the Warthog to drive up there, maybe like a little wedge or something, <coughs> then um, then yeah, the Warthog could potentially do this whole Warthog run as long as you give it like a few ledges and ramps and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, the rest of this section, it's uh, it's actually pretty like drivable. It's pretty interesting. And some of the geometry, like I said, is, is kind of weird. Like you saw like a little ramp down there that goes deeper, but it doesn't actually go down the the ground is just flat despite like what it looks like and you know that's because like this mission it, it wasn't really meant to be <laughs> driven by a warthog or really walked on foot you were entirely just meant to fly a broadsword across really quickly and not really notice like these little weirdness here and there uh so yeah, that about wraps it up for this video. The answer to the question of can you do the broadsword run in a warthog is no. Now, could we do it with another vehicle, like say a banshee? Well, maybe. I'll have to test that out a little bit. I did have banshees prepared to begin this map, so I'll definitely test it out and I'll follow up with another video about if you do this with any other vehicle besides the broadsword. But for now, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then make sure to leave a like. Uh, anything else we check out or look into, just let me know in the comments down below, and I'll definitely do my best to look into it when I get a chance. But aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.